How the fuck are you all going? We're back after skipping last weekend because for the first time in months I needed a day off. Uh, and today we're doing something slightly different. Banana pie. A banana pie. Not the edible kind. Uh, I haven't done one of these before. Believe it or not though, the oldest SBC that I own was the original banana pie, I think M1. And it still works. I'm using it uh, in my house to do DNS and it works to treat in a little acrylic case. But now the banana pie F3 has come out. And this one has an eight core RISC-V chip in it. So it's got the space MIT, I guess it's pronounced, K1. This is a 64-bit uh, core that supports full RVV apparently. Eight cores, um, two gigahertz from what I understand. It's got a two tera ops AI computing power built in. Single core performance they say is uh, 1.3, 1.2 to 1.3 times the A55. So we'll be testing that out. But they also advertise as an open source smart router. And this thing's really extensible, hence, you know, the size of this box. So we're gonna pop it open. We're gonna grab Ambient for it because it should be fully supported. And we're gonna boot it up and see, you know, if it, if it does all the things that we like, what the power's like, what the interfaces are like. So let's get into it. Now, before I do go any further, I just want to give a quick shout out to PCBWay. They're continuing to sponsor this channel and help all of us out, you guys and me. And I say guys because YouTube says all of you are men, 0% women, which is hilarious. But PCBWay, uh, as you can see, still have all these great deals going. $29 and free shipping on assembly, PCB prototyping, everything like that. And they're constantly doing new things, competitions and promos and everything like that. Um, but the main thing is they support this channel. And that allows me to keep making these videos. So if you wanna support this channel as well, besides liking and subscribing and leaving comments, just click on the link below and have a look at some of the stuff they offer. It really, really would be appreciated. So thank you, PCBWay. Now back onto that, this, this, that. Let's have a look at what we've got here. We have a more of a mini ITX size board than anything uh, that doesn't have tear tabs in it. So. Make one with your teeth. There we go. Noisy. Let's get up close and see what we've got here. I'm gonna bring this back into focus. So you obviously have the processor there, which is a pretty hefty SOC. Uh, we will be sticking a fan on that. You've got a whole pile of different connectors as well. Uh, if we look at the immediate periphery, You've got dual LAN with PoE support through a module plus a DC jack, HDMI out. That's SATA power uh, from what I understand. You've got USB-C, I think, as a power option there. We'll have a look at that in a tick. You've got, huh, that is quite interesting. All right, this is M keyed on the back. And we've got a slot there too. Huh. All right, SD card, audio jack. That's a 26 pin header and then you've got G uh, debug there and you've got a big power connector behind it. So let's quickly actually check the specs for this and see what it says about those ports. All right, so this mini PCIe is actually PCIe. Uh, it's a PCIe 2.1 two lane times two. And then we've got the one lane mini PCIe. Okay, so the two lane must be used by something. That's the one lane mini PCIe. And then you've got the M2 key on the back. So what I'm gonna do is I will slap a M2 NVMe in there. Um, the 26 pin header that we've got over here is very, very similar to a Pi 2 header. Um, not identical though, so test it out. Here we can see we've got our Wi-Fi module. We've got our antenna connectors there. Next to that though, going around it, we have a speaker connector, headphone connector, SD card, Got some user switches. We've got boot selection switches. That's your RAM, of course. It's either going to be two or four gig, and apparently that's one of the downfalls of this. There's no eight gig option or 16 gig. Uh, power management. You've got your MIPI CSI. That CSI 3 isn't connected. Your MIPI DSI. That's your fan connector. SATA power, HDMI, USB, Ethernet. We've got the rest pretty stock standard. On the back, there is also, where is it on here? That is a microphone, which I didn't even realize. So that's, it's got two microphones actually. It's got that one there and that one there. So not entirely sure the purpose of that, but it looks pretty sweet. So first things first, we're gonna have to get the image for this. I'm just gonna flash it stock standard. I'm gonna use an adapter that I've got for this. 
Uh, you've seen me use Bellina Etra before. If you want to know how to, just go back to a previous video and check that out. So let's get this set up with an image and then I'll get back to you and we can boot it up and see how she goes. All right, we're back now. And after messing around for ages, uh, all I've got set up because apparently my capture card is dead is just the screen in front of the camera. And I'm gonna hope that that's in focus and then you can see it. Now, I have spent the last hour trying out the Ambien build from their documentation for this board. So um, I've just used the SD card and the Ambien build's really busted. It's got no web browsers available and it had some weird errors and shit just wasn't working. So now I've grabbed, uh, oh, and the Ambien build had Ubuntu repos, which I thought was weird. So now I grabbed what uh, was labeled as the Debian build that appears to be Debian, uh, Ambien with Debian SID under it, as opposed to Ambien with a broken Ubuntu under it. Haven't booted it yet, so we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see how it goes. I'd expect that, you know, they called it Debian or Ambien, and the Debian one's got an Ambien file name, if that makes sense. I'll try to put a screenshot in the video. Uh, that at least it's, I don't know, more functioning. So far, this board in concept is great, but the first image that I tried, the one that's labeled Ambien, was busted, and it's limited to four gig of RAM, which is really not hugely helpful. Um, so, so far, this thing's not wowing me in any way. The idea of the processor or the specs in the processor are great, but that's about it. The implementation doesn't seem to be rocking much. Let's see if I can get some brightness turned up on this. Well, it is up, all right. So I can barely see this from this angle. Oh yeah, it's just gonna be the standard ambient thing. So banana, banana, that is wrong. Bash and owner. Apparently I really struggle to spell the word banana. That's a little bit strange, huh? All right, set based on location, that's fine. I doubt it's actually gonna pick it up, but we'll see. Oh no, it, it figured it out. Now the fan's a little bit quieter as well because I did move that to the 3.3 volt line instead of the five volt line. Um, it should still be pushing enough air through it. It's a pretty bloody fast fan, so that'll keep it nice and cool, especially for Geekbench at the end. All right, have we got a desktop environment coming up? Let's see how it goes. There we go, all right. We've got networking. It looks like Bluetooth might even work out the box. Wi-Fi is working, which is excellent. Let's see if this build has a bloody web browser. No, what? What in the living Christ is wrong? And see, uh, in the other build as well, I couldn't even get to Synaptic Package Manager. All right, at least that's working. Uh, and it didn't come with Vim, which was really strange. So let's quickly jump in here and just see if we can install a web browser. Okay, it's using the Debian repo this time, not the Ubuntu Noble repo. Uh, so with how hard Debian are pushing RISC-V being first class citizen, we might see a lot more package options in here, which would be quite nice. Really hoping you can all see that too. The reason I do it like this as well is so that you guys are all experiencing what I'm experiencing. Uh, this is what you get when you take it out the box and you try to use it. Um, poor documentation and broken images so far. And it's a shame because I've always really liked the stuff that Banana Pie comes out with. And I guess this maybe is meant more as a router, but then where's the documentation? Where's a built-in tool to use it as a router? Having two LAN ports on something doesn't make it a router. Yep, all right, sweet. That wasn't even an option in the other, in the bloody Ambien build that was using the Ubuntu repos. I've got no idea why. Maybe it's just not compiled for RISC-V in their repos. 
And what we're going to want to see here is if it can what we're going to want to see here is if there's hardware acceleration, if it does HTML5 uh, fishbowl test, if it can play YouTube videos. So far, this product is not wowing me at all. And, you know, it wasn't hugely cheap either. So I want to see it do something impressive. I want to see some proper bloody documentation. All right. Well... Yeah, that would help. That's understandable. That one's on me. And we'll also, of course, test out its power consumption using my little veneer C tool, which I've got here. And I'll run Geekbench at the end and leave that running and put the results below. Now, Firefox didn't... Or oh, it doesn't look like it's having the best time. I'm not feeling much UI lag, like that's pretty good. It's just struggling to do anything really, and my internet's quite excellent. Got 100 megabits with ease, 40 megabit up, 100 meg down. It's not the page that's having an issue. Now, so, fuck me. Can someone do it right for once? Can someone release an image? Oh, I've got my head in my hands. This is... This is a waste of time. This product is of pretty much no use. The official images for it don't come with a web browser. You've got to be smart enough to install one yourself. And, uh... The official image also doesn't have a GPU driver, and uh, I just don't see the point. Why would you release a product like this that's of no practical use? You've got so you've got blurry hands, no documentation or minimal documentation. Your images are busted. Uh, you, you don't explain even the use case for it properly. It's very expensive. You've got limited RAM, like you got eight cores but only four gig of RAM maximum. It's it's a flop of a launch. I'm. Um, I'm going to briefly test the power. I reckon it's going to be shit. I'm going to run the benchmark. I reckon that's going to be shit. Then I'll paste the the, uh, the results in the description and I'll just upload this video with minimal editing because this product is a waste of my time and I'll never use it for anything. Not, not like this. Do better banana pie. You used to make some good shit. And, you know, some of your stuff, you, you sponsor Ambien. You'd expect the image to be better than that. This is a garbage factory. So I'm going to turn it off now. Plug in the power. Where is that? I'm going to take it off the screen before I scratch living shit out of the screen. Right. And we'll put the little tester in here. So USB-C power in. And there's a USB-C cable. Could probably just use the power out on the side of it there. And power the board up with that. Right, there you go, 400, 350 to 400 milliamps booting, 400 and then some, 500, 500 go once, come on. One point one on boot, one point two on boot. I'm gonna say average about one amp on boot. You don't know how badly I just want to snap this board in half, but it is such a good SOC that I'm hoping, you know, there will be some good firmware release for it one day. All right, so idles at about 750 milliamps, so 3.8 watts. Um, and if we just stick it over to a console, yeah, about the same. Uh, if we were to run it headless, we'll have a quick look at that.
Don't kill the desktop manager. Yeah, so even with the desktop manager gone, it's still drawing 600 and loose change milliamps. So it's really, really not optimized. If I'm to take my fan off, you lose 100 milliamps there and you're gonna need the fan on it for what that core is doing anyway. So this is extremely disappointing. I hope you guys learned from something from it. I hope, hope you learned to save your money. Um, Open source smart router. What I will check is that wiki because the docs page wasn't that URL. Wiki, oh, wrong keyboard. Uh, wiki oh, banana pi.org main page. Yep, yeah. all right. Then we'll go to the F3, getting started with. Is it not on here? All right, there we go. No, nah, it... There is another image for Bayanboo. Um, there's a NAS image and a desktop image. I don't want to use Bayanboo. I want to use Debian or Ubuntu or Ambien uh, or even something, you know, that's more SBC oriented. Not, not this. This... The documentation is much the same. I'm not going to bother. I, I love that it's got a 6.1 kernel, but it's of no use if it doesn't fucking do anything. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to barely edit this and upload it. I'm going to run Geekbench while I go scream at the wall and drink some whiskey. Hope you learned something. Hope you're having a great weekend, at least a better one than me. I'll see you guys next time.